Okay, here we go. This is the uh, soft-legged crab. I, I didn't really like the way most crabs were tied because the the legs ended up quite stiff. So first we just put an underlayer on. You can do this in orange or whatever colour you want. I usually use orange. Just put a base on there, all good. And we've got a few tricks to show you with how to do these. on a couple of eyes normally just in front of the point of the hook we're going to put two eyes on this one so we go through sitting straight on the bottom of the hook, put on a bit of super glue, okay now we go down the bend of the hook to where we're going to start tying in the flexi tube and here's a nice little trick for you. It's quite often quite hard to get the flexi tube on easily, so I just put it in over my pincers, and you'll find it just goes straight over the top, no problem at all. Then we start binding the front or the back, whatever you want to call it. We start binding here, it's not too fast about how neat it is. The, the legs are going to cover most of anything anyway. So put some, some binds around the hook, then back around the tubing. And there we go. Triple hitch. Now the secret here is don't cut the thread. Don't cut it. I'm actually putting it around the bottom here just to hold it. Move the position of the crab up to whatever shape you want and start binding. And another triple. And we'll do one more. Easy. Now we just put a drop of super glue on it to hold it. And just leave it for a minute or two. Okay. Shape the crab now, whichever way you want it. I'm going to cut off where it was cauterized, and just separate over all with a bobbin. pair of nippers just to cut it nice and close okay and we just sort of press it into the shape we want whether we want a bubble I kind of like the bottom curve so the crab actually rocks when you're retrieving it and stopping it Having cut off that loose thread there. Okay. And the first thing I do is actually put the eyes on just to give me some reference. And I'm just using some easy shrimp eyes, which I'll cut in half. And I'll just angle the ends just to make it easier to go through. Okay. You can position the eyes any way you want. Just push them right through. Job's done. There we go. So the eyes are on there. 
Now I'm going to do the claws first, and you can use chenille if you want. I'm using um, some silicon legs here, and I'm going to pull off four bits first. And simply put a knot the length of the claws I want. You can use more than four if you want. It's up to you. Not too worried about the length of anything just at the moment. And these are your claws. Now I grab this and cut it in half. And I've got this nice neat little needle here that we use for splicing Dacron. So it's a Dacron splicing loop tool. Okay, so we're going to position the claws very close to the eyes. But part of this deal is I like the, everything is put on the top of the crab, but it's facing down so it hits the ground at the bottom of the and that helps it move around. So we're just coming up here. You can see at the top of the crab. Okay. And then I'm going to put it back in. This would be the rear claw, the rear legs. It will fall in there. Leave it a bit loose so you can pull it through. Okay, that's one of the legs. You can still adjust it to the length of the claws you want. I like them sticking out a little bit. Don't bother gluing anything yet. And now for the next set of claws. Okay, the thing I like about this is that we've <clears throat> actually got some of the colour of the legs also on the back of the back of the crab, so you don't have to spray it or paint it, it's all done. Everything kind of matches up. So now I'm going to pull off two strands for the rest of the legs. And we'll show you the reason I do this pretty soon. Okay, we're going to come in. Once again, facing down and coming straight out of the shell again. Pull it through. And we pull that through again. <clears throat> and what I do with this, the ends here, is I actually put them around the eye, which will hold the eye in place. Because we're only going to glue it around the eye area. There we go. I'm only going to glue it around the eye area. So the loops come around through the legs, through there, and then back out, going around the eye. Now we do the other side, grab another two legs. Now we push the eyes down, pull them down. <clears throat> and to keep the legs flexible, we're only going to glue it around the eyes there, the eyes there. 
across the back you can put some glue. This holds the eyes securely. You can put as much glue on there as you want and it doesn't go down to the legs so the legs stay nice and flexible. Now we've got four legs out the back here, that's a bit much so we'll cut two of those off later. But that's the super flexible crab and you can sort of see that we've got the same colour on the back of the crab which I reckon looks pretty good and of course later on you'll cut all those legs for the measurements and sizes that you want. Very effective crab, we've done well with it, not that I catch heaps of fish but I hope some of these little tricks will help you out.